I know. I'm sorry. How are you guys? All right, we'll I, forgot get, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> we'll get started with Rangers Hall of Famer Adrian Beltre. Thanks for being here, Adrian. First question. We'll start with Steven. Well, Adrian, obviously this is something you had hoped to do as a player, but what does it feel like to be back with the Rangers and you know be here watching them in the World Series? It is nice always to be back here, uh, bring great memories and uh, be back in the situation where uh, hopefully uh, we're going to bring back or give the Ranger fans the well-deserved uh, first World Series. So hopefully these guys uh, get it done. Other questions for Adrian? Go to Jeff right here. So you're okay at third base. What do you think of Josh Young defensively at third? I think he did a, doing a terrific job. Um, third base is not easy to play, especially when it's your first year. Uh, and he's handling really well. Uh, the game I've seen, uh, he's playing way better than I thought. Uh, he's looking good, and uh, this it's just been the beginning. So offensively, not even say he had a great offensive year. Uh, so that kid's going to be really good. To your left, Adrian, Sean. What has uh, been your impression of watching Dolis Garcia these playoffs last night, especially these last few games specifically? It's amazing to be able to uh, step up and continues to do what he's doing. Uh, I mean, in, in this situation, playoffs in the World Series and uh, be, being clutched the way he has been, 21, 22 RBIs in the postseason is obviously is a record now. Uh, and the way he's doing it is is just amazing. So uh, it's, it's it's good to see. Hopefully, he'll keep it going. And you know, uh, he he him and uh, you know and, and Corey and everybody else in that clubhouse take us to the promised land. Go far back on your left, Adrian. Adrian, Eric Mora de Telemundo. Hola. Dallas. Hola, qué tal? Gusto saludarte mm -hmm. otra vez. Muchos años estuviste en esta franquicia. Aquí viviste muchas glorias. ¿Qué significa para ti ver a este equipo llegar a la Serie Mundial? ¿Y por qué crees que este equipo puede ganarla? Hola, sí, significa mucho porque obviamente yo soy parte de esta organización. Jugué ocho años uh, aquí, me trataron muy bien. Ten, tuve tremenda química con, la, con los fanáticos, con la ciudad. Y uh, me identifico como fanático de los Rangers, obviamente. Um, el equipo que, que ahora mismo tenemos está compuesto para ganar la Serie Mundial. Uh, obviamente, al principio de la temporada, muchos expertos no lo tenían como favorito, pero la ofensiva, el picheo, como se ha mantenido, tienen la química para ganar. Uh, yo, por experiencia, estuve aquí y estuvimos cerca de la Serie Mundial, obviamente, pero um, ellos creo que tienen la, eh, lo que se necesita para hacer el trabajo y completarlo. Estamos todos aquí apoyándolos para que eso sea y le traigan una, un campeonato que... Obviamente, ya los, los fanáticos de los Rangers se uh, um, lo merecen. Yes. Up front to your right, Adrian. Thank you. Adrian, eh, en relación a la actuación que ha tenido Adolis García, lo que, lo que ha significado para, para el equipo en, para que llegara hasta aquí, hasta la Serie Mundial. Obviamente, es, es una de las claves principales por qué los Rangers están aquí. Con el aporte de él, de Seager y, y, y el resto de los muchachos, han estado prácticamente este, um, aportando el equipo ofensivamente. Um, lo que ha hecho uh, García, eh, nadie más lo ha hecho. 21, 22 uh, remolcadas en la postemporada es algo que nunca se ha hecho anteriormente. O sea que eso solamente habla de lo que está haciendo. Um, y como decía anteriormente, es difícil mantener esa. esa, es, es, esa este, producción, como la ha hecho él, mantenerla casi todos los juegos. Y sabiendo de que también el equipo contrario sabe lo que está haciendo él y quizás le picha un poquito con más cuidado, igualmente produce. O sea que lo que está haciendo él es algo que es admirable y yo como fanático lo disfruto y esperamos que lo siga haciendo para que le pueda traer el campeonato a, a los Rangers. De nada. Steven on your left, Adrian. Got two quick ones. And speaking of kids, AJ, are you kind of living your baseball fix through him? And just talk about his development and how much fun it's been to watch him grow. It's been fun. It's been fun. Obviously, um, you know, it's, it's something I was looking for when I uh, decided to retire because I want to be able to, I wanted to be able to be able to uh, see him on a daily basis, 
uh, work on things that we need to work in, um, see and develop and see where I can work, the thing uh, in baseball. Uh, and seeing the way he developed, I'm really proud of him. Uh, he has done what more than I expected. He put himself in a great position to be able to uh, pick a good school for him, to suit, to suit him. Um, he wanted always good academics and good uh, baseball program. And he, he, he found what he wanted. Uh, I'm here to support him, but all the way, um, he has done it by himself. I helped a little bit, but he has done it by himself because he's a young, not because of my son, and I'm the first one to be <laughs> telling, you know, if you do something wrong, but he's a young man that he's dedicated and he knows what he wants. And I've got to ask, I know you always played the game for teammates, and I know you always played not for the accolades or the awards, but obviously you're eligible for the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Have you put any thought into it, and then does that excite you or do anything for you? Um, I, I'm not going to deny the fact that, yes, next January, right, uh, I'm eligible to, to be in the ballot, but uh, I, don't, I don't like to think about it. I, 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 I do some time because the question you guys ask me and family and, and because it's, it's normal. But it's something that I cannot control. So um, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy. Um, uh, but I don't, I don't like to get ahead of things that I can control. So if it happens, when it happens, I, I see how I react and see how am I going to uh, enjoy it. Cody, the fourth row on your left. Adrian, what would it mean to see the Rangers win the World Series, especially given how close you guys came in 2011? It would mean a lot. It would mean a lot because, you know, being in that team in 2011, we were so close um, and not get it done. You know, it, it stays with you. Uh, understanding that the, one of the reasons why you came to, to, to the Rangers is because they believe that I could help. And the guys that come in that year, we can help to bring the, you know, the World Series to, to, this, uh, to this town, to the city. And we weren't able to. Uh, pretty close, but we didn't, didn't, didn't get it done. So I think... Uh, uh, we win three more games. Uh, now, now, am I only going to be thrilled for the fans here in Texas? But I'm going to feel like it's a little weight off of us because we didn't get it done, and those guys did it for us. So um, I'll, I'll be super happy about it. Got the fifth row on your right, Bill. Uh, just want to ask how your friends and neighbors back home are doing watching this series, where Corey Seager is playing for the Rangers and <laughs> the team that the Dodgers beat by 16 games is on the other side of the field. Are they holding up all right or are they upset? Uh, you want me to tell you the truth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can, but you know what? I was, um, I was on the, fun I was on the uh, golf tournament last week and I don't want to mention who I was, was there. It was the Dodger guy. And uh, it was like, hey, where are you going for the, for the World Series? You know, where are you going to go? We had before the Warriors, right? We was, when Texas was playing against uh, Houston and, and in Philly against uh, Arizona, so I told him, like, obviously, Houston, you know, I don't, want, I don't want Houston to win. I want the Rangers to win. And he goes, what about you? He goes, oh, I don't, I, maybe the Rangers, but you know, I, 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 I don't know. The Corey's over there. He laughed, you know, and then he was like, and and uh, Arizona just make lose like crap, you know, so. Uh, long story short, I don't want to make get into details, but they're not happy that, you know, we are doing good and Corey's here crushing it. That's a guy who plays for the team now or used to play for the team? I'm sorry? That's a guy who plays for the Dodgers now or used to play for the Too team? much information. <laughs> <laughs> Go further back on your left. Una pregunta más, mi estimado Adrián, muy parecida a la, a la que hizo ya el colega. ¿Qué significaría para ti precisamente que ganaran lo, los Rangers? ¿Y cómo estás viviendo tú estos partidos ya pues como espectador? ¿Cómo los vives? ¿Cómo los saboreas? ¿Qué sientes? ¿Te pones nervioso? ¿No te pones nervioso? ¿Y qué significaría ver a ellos levantar el título? Como dije anteriormente, sí, significaría algo muy importante para mí. Porque aparte de que soy fanático de los Rangers, jugué aquí ocho años y estuvimos el equipo del 2011 estu estuvimos en la en la misma situación ¿verdad? que estábamos en el mundial cerca de ganar y no pudimos hacerlo entonces si logramos este triunfo de ganar el mundial para mí no solamente para que los fanáticos de los Rangers ya finalmente puedan celebrar una serie mundial aquí en la ciudad sino también este quitarme ese peso que Tengo yo y mis ex compañeros jugamos ese año de que no pudimos hacer el trabajo ese año. O sea, que de, de, de doble manera me voy a sentir muy orgulloso de que traigan 
con una, un championship aquí a los Rangers. Y eh, como fanático, como espectador, obviamente yo soy normalmente un poquito tranquilo viendo los juegos y, y, y calculado, pero me di cuenta que ayer brinqué mucho. <risa> Uh, estuve con mi hijo viendo el juego um, y de verdad que lo disfruté y obviamente me encantan los juegos especialmente cuando es un juego que es emocional, un juego que se mantuvo siempre cerca y de la manera que triunfamos ayer fue muy bueno, o sea, lo disfruté y esperamos en Dios que tres más así para poder celebrar completamente Take a couple more up front here. Lo que significa para ti este primer picheo con Ferguson Jenkins, ayer lo hizo el, el presidente Bush con una leyenda como Iván Rodríguez y bueno, el, al día siguiente te toca a ti con un hombre que está en el Salón de la Fama, que sería tu próxima parada. Um, obviamente, emocionado por la oportunidad de poder uh, hacer el primer lanzamiento aquí en el, en el juego número 2. Uh, primera vez en mi carrera que voy a tirar el primer picheo. Obviamente, un poquito nervioso acerca de eso. Este, obviamente, hacerlo el lanzamiento a, a, a un Salón de la Fama como Jenkins, es tremenda persona. Uh, Obviamente es algo muy emocional. Uh, pero me digo que todo salga bien y que yo no la. que algo no salga mal allá. Do two more here in the middle. Could you say that in English? You said it's the first time that you've had an opportunity to do first the first time. pitch. Yes, it's the first time. You watched President Bush last night. Did you get a chance to practice? <laughs> uh, not yet. Um, yes, the first time I ever got to a first pitch. Uh, honor to be here doing that. Um, I witnessed it yesterday, first pitch, and I was actually sitting with him. Um, um, I'm a little nervous about it, not gonna lie, but I haven't practiced yet, and I was not nervous until yesterday. My son told me, which I was fine until yesterday. He, he actually said, Dad, you haven't played catch in like two weeks. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's, that's true. <laughs> so, but um, I'm hoping that'll be okay. I might, I might warm up a little before if you had a chance, you know, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. It, it should be okay. One last one for Adrian. All right, Adrian, it's a real thrill to have you at the World Series. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.